While the Obama administration tries to figure out if targeting terrorists is worthwhile, thousands of refugees are suffering across northern Iraq. But as Gary Lane reports, CBN Disaster Relief is working to help these victims. Tens of thousands of Iraqi Christians now live in tents, schools, and abandoned buildings. War-weary and despondent, most now say they want to leave Iraq. Go to America. Christian, go to America. Christian, no live in Iraq. When Islamic State fighters seized his city, this former police officer took his family, including his newborn daughter, to safety in Erbil. If we return to our village, they will kill us, he says. With passports in hand, these Iraqi Christians hope Congress will soon grant them immediate religious asylum status so they can live in the United States. Ten families from this church, Ankawa Evangelical, have already left Iraq since the crisis began last June. That troubled Pastor Ghassan Yalda, who urged them to stay. This is hurting a lot because the faith that we have is that the Christians are the salt of this land and the, the light of this land. If everybody leaves this country, who are going to be uh, speaking the truth about the people that need us? Who are going to be speaking the truth and who are going to be keep this area from the wrath of the Lord? Because the sin is everywhere and people are killing each other. Those still here are reaching out to help. Here in the Kurdistan capital city of Erbil is a Christian neighborhood known as Ankawa. It usually has a population of about 22,000 people. But because of this massive influx of people from around the country due to the fighting with ISIS, the population here has swelled to over 100,000. That's five times above normal. And what that means is overwhelming pressure on the churches and the community here. <laughs> CBN Disaster Relief has partnered with Ankawa Evangelical to relieve some of the pressure, bringing help to Yazidis. Today we're giving out clothing uh, to the Yazidi people who have fled from uh, northern Iraq. Hey. And basic food and toiletries for Christians. We did this because they have very little, uh, they have no money, no ability to purchase anything, they don't have anything other than the clothes on their back. And it's not just material relief that CBN is providing. Episodes of the animated Bible series Superbook were shown to the refugee children in their own Arabic language. Through the comfort of the gospel and through the comfort of Superbook, you show that Christians truly love them. They have been able to uh, be blessed and receive relief. Giving Iraqi refugees a break from their misery, providing them with some of life's basic necessities and spiritual encouragement to last a lifetime. Gary Lane, CBN News, Erbil, Iraq.